Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today it's a marshmallow world. Let me just play through the whole song and then we'll yak. So it's in 4-4 four, four time. Uh, I'm just doing, I don't know what I was doing for a strum. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about the chords. A C chord, first string, third fret. C major 7, first string, second fret. Uh, next chord, G7, third and first string, second fret, and second string, first fret. That's a G7 chord. Uh, let's see, D minor 7. It's a fourth string, third string, second fret, second string, first fret. Um, and that's your D minor. You could use that. If you don't like the D minor 7, you could substitute D minors. Whenever you have a D minor 7, a D minor will do. Okay? I'm going to put my pinky, though, on the 1st string 3rd fret to make it a D minor 7. And I like that sound. It's a jazzy sound with this song. Okay? So that's my D minor 7. Okay? Don't get confused. You could use a D minor for D minor 7s. So that's all. Alright, uh, next chord is A minor 7. Also, don't get confused all open, but not holding anything down. All strings are open for A minor 7. Then we need a D7 chord. Fourth string and second string, second fret. Uh, we need a G minor 7. Uh, one and two strings at the first fret. I bar them with my first finger. And then third string, second fret. Open fourth string. That's my G minor 7. I need a C7 chord. First string, uh, first fret. That's it. Uh, almost done with our chords. I need an F chord. Fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. All right, now I need a G chord, which is the third and the first string, second fret, third string, I mean, second string, third fret. Most of you probably have done that one before. Uh, two more chords E minor seven, third string and second, uh, third string and first string, second fret. Just like that. And I need a G major 7, and that means I'm going to bar 3, 2, and 1 at the 2nd fret and have the open 4th string. And that's all you need for chords. Okay? So that's out of the way. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go through it again. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I can hum the melody and yell out these chords quick enough. So uh, we got a, it's a marshmallow world. It's a C to a C major 7. C to C major 7, then C gets a whole measure, G7 gets a whole measure, D minor 7 to G7, C to A minor 7, D7 gets a whole measure, to a G7 gets a whole measure, and then you repeat, C to C major 7, C to C major 7, C for a whole measure, to a G7 for a whole measure, D minor 7 to G7, C to A minor 7, and then D7 to G7, back to C for a measure. G minor 7 to C7, to F to D minor 7. G minor 7 to C7, to F to D minor 7. A minor 7 to D7. G major 7 to E minor 7. A minor 7 to D7. G to a G7. C to C major 7. C. C 
major seven. C for a whole measure. G seven for a whole measure. D minor seven to G seven. A minor seven to D seven. D seven back to G seven and then to C for a whole measure. C to C major seven. C to C major seven. C for a whole measure to a G seven. D minor seven to G seven to C to an A minor seven. D7 for a measure, and then G7 for a measure. C to C major 7, C to C major 7, C for a measure to a G7. D minor 7, G7, C to A minor 7, D7 to G7, and then you end on a C. Woo! Alright. Uh, there'll be a link. I have it all written out. Uh, if you know how to read like first and second endings and codas and all that stuff. Basically when you see the sheet I'm reading um, uh, like the first line and a half and it has a big one with a bracket that's a first ending then you'll see these dots and that means those always mean to repeat and that means you repeat all the way back to the beginning and you do that first line again and then when you get to the second line there's a two halfway through the line instead of a one and that's the second ending thus you go there and um, and then you just continue on to the bridge of the song and then um, you go all the way down to a, a double bar line and it says DCL coda with repeats so what's that mean in English uh, DC means from the beginning again and then you look for the coda uh, but it also says with repeat, so that means that you go back to the beginning and you take the first ending again, and then you, um, which is the third ending actually, and then you go back to the beginning again, and then you take the second ending, and then you'll see what looks like a rifle scope, and that is the coda, and that jumps you down to the end of the song, which is basically the same. You'll see it when you look at it. Uh, the guitar chords are on it also. I'll do a video for that one too. But here's the ook one. Um, strum patterns. Uh, I don't think I was doing anything too complicated. So uh, on a C I was going down, down, up, and C and C major 7 are sharing a measure. So C, C major 7. So I was just going down, down, up, next chord, down, down, up. That's it. And then when I had a chord that was the whole measure, like the next C is a whole measure. Down, down, up, up, down, up could work, or down, down, up, down, up, down, up, that also could work. I think I did that on the G7, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. You don't always have to stick to the same strum pattern that um, for everything either, you know, you can vary it. So uh, I think on the, on the third measure of the song, when I got to the C, I did down, down, up, up, down, and then when I got to the G7, I went down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So even though they're both a full measure, I varied it the strum pattern. So that's basically all I did when the chords were close together it was just down, down, up. And then, you know, if it was a whole measure you can you can use one of those two patterns will work. Or anything you want to come up with that's fine. It's four beats in a measure, so. Uh, I don't know if there's anything more I can tell you about it. It would help you if you download the link so you can see it. Uh, that helps uh, a lot usually. All right. Thanks for watching and play more guitar and please subscribe and it's a marshmallow.